What up, y'all? Welcome back. We're doing another Arena Cube draft. Hopefully this will go better than the last. Last one, I don't even know what went wrong. It was a unimpressive train wreck. We're waiting for this one person here. Okay, we're going to look for powerful things. I like a rampaging ferocidon. Hmm. We haven't done mono red. I'm taking it, man. None of those other cards are super impressive. Like, they're good, they're fine. Thank you. Oh, Josh, my God. Good seeing you, my dude. I hope you're having a great holiday, buddy. Haven't seen you in a little bit. It's great to see you, man. 38 months is a long time, dude. Hope you're doing wonderfully. I'll be back tomorrow at a more normal time. So if you first pick Rampaging Frosted on, you got a you got a second pick Ember Cleave, right? I went seven oh on the singles cube five times with mono red. Yeah, well that's that's literally how best of one works, you know. Oh, and then a Torbran? Oh, man. These are like the... These are like the mono-red bangers right here. I've been absorbing cyberpunk world for like two weeks. It's wonderful. I've heard definitely <coughs> as someone who has it installed on steam and completely up to date, but has not played it yet. I have had, I've heard multiple different opinions on cyberpunk. Some people say they love it and they're having a great time. Some people say it's just way too buggy and it should have been, uh, you know, a little, it should have been worked on a little bit longer. I think, um, I'm just going to take the light up the stage. I think Intervention or Banefire might come back. Yeah, I doubt I'm going to have bugs as well. Direfully Daredevil seems fine here. I think I might have passed a Maze Mind Tome, but I mean, this is an Amaze Mind Tome deck. We're not going to be playing a, a two mana artifact, then tapping two mana to draw a card from it four times. And it's just, we don't, who's got the time? Dual caster. Insult to injury is actually very good. So is Castle Embreath. Unfortunately, only two cards are coming back from this pack, but I think Insult to Injury's gotta be the better. The better card for like our deck. I've been playing on PC and I've had a significant number of bugs, but none of which are permanently game breaking. That's that's good. Oh, I like a I like a, a Tibble to Rackish Instigator. Boy, with anger. Show us you're alive. <laughs> oh, Scorching Dragonfire is probably better than Morog. I don't foresee us playing six drops. Yeah, Underworld Ragehound. It's a 3-1 for 2. 
comes back as a 4-2. Gives me things to do. Valakut Awakening is pretty decent. Yeah, I mean, all right. This is the this is a mono red deck, all right. Literally ten out of ten playables. Yeah, I'll take claim. Wonderful Christmas time. Oh, Intervention did come back. Wow, that's kind of nice. Maze Mind Tome came back? Man, these people have no respect. I'm definitely taking that. Castle Embereth came back. Wow, there was a red card and a Castle Embereth as the last two cards in that pack. That is pretty sweet. Uh, Shock is not impressive. Kazul's Fury might be better. But honestly, Fury might come back. I'm going to take the Shock. With things like Torbran and, and Insult to Injury, I want cheap ways to deal damage. First picking a shock is rough, but I think the Sarkon's actually pretty good. I mean, it makes you five five. No like, sword can pierce my scales. I mean, there's only one other card in that pack that we would have considered, and Lava Coil might come back. <sighs> Fanatical Firebrand. I don't know if I like Experimental Frenzy. I'm just going to take the Firebrand. Like, if there's two two decent red cards in the pack that are not, like, fantastic, like, I'm pretty sure the likelihood of them coming back is pretty high. Oh, Reckless Rage. I don't think it's key to the city here. I mean, four damage is very good, and if you hit something like your own stupid uh, Rampaging Ferocidon, or... Oh, Bone Crusher Giant and Glorybringer in the same pack? Wow. I think it's gotta be Bone Crusher Giant. Jeez. Shatter Skull Smashing? Oh, man. I haven't seen Deem Worthy in here. That's really interesting. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's take weaponize the monsters. Thank you. Oh my god, Josh with the gifted subs, dude. Oh my god, you're awesome, dude. Josh, thank you, buddy. Thank you. Oh, man, you're the fucking best, dude. Absolutely the best. Simply the best. Thank you. Oh god, that's awesome, dude. Thank, thank you so you. much, Josh. I appreciate you, buddy. One, it's been a bit. Two, I got a promote. Dude, another promotion and a bonus? Fuck, I feel like you get a promotion Thank every you. three months. 
Congrats, buddy. Thank you. Also, getting promotions and bonuses during a pandemic is pretty sweet because uh, that's a very comfortable feeling. Thank you. When it could be like the exact opposite, you know? Thank you. Dude, Josh, thank you so much, dude. That is awesome. Oh, look, the Kazool's Fury came back. Thank How many you. we got? We got two right now, right? We got Valakut Awakening. Oh, no, we got like three. Shatter Skull and Kazool's Fury. Oh, Lava Coil. Sure. Thank you. Man, this deck's looking pretty decent. Oh, Experimental Frenzy came back as well. <laughs> There's no Dana, only Kazool. <laughs> oh, man, I think about it all the time. Are you the key master? Soul Scar Mage? Sure. Oh, a Coom Warrior came back. Probably taking that over Magma Quake. And now we have like six fucking six fucking cards of spells that are also lands. Goblin Banneret is like the only playable card for us in here. I could take Ratchet Bomber animation module. Uh, I like Basri Ket a lot, but I think we all know it's Goblin Banneret, unfortunately. This is only your first promotion? I could have sworn you've been promoted before. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Thundering Rebuke deals 4 damage to a creature or Planeswalker for 2. It's very similar to Lava Coil, I guess. Except Lava Coil is just creature. It does exile the creature. I'm pretty sure Double Vision is going to come back. I'll just take the, the Rebuke. Oh, Young Pyromancer, Vyashino Pyromancer, or Skewer the Critics. What do we got here? One, two. One, two. Three, four, five, six. I mean, I know one of these is going to come back. I can almost guarantee it. Yeah, I think it's got to be Pyromancer. It's got to be the strongest of the three. Hmm. Oh, Bowman Courier? Let's take Bowman Courier. I almost didn't see that guy. Uh, Act of Treason? I mean, we're literally just taking the only red cards in the pack. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's, uh, it's poop. Sometimes it's great and we get another one at the table. Wonderful Christmas time. I mean, this is 27 cards, but five of them are land, so it's actually 22. It's pretty insane. Do we just play all five of these? <clears throat> oh, Grim Lava Mancer. I like that better than Soul Scar Mage. Soul Scar Mage is kind of meh. I'm like trying to grab down. I guess I have to like put it down. That's so weird that when it pops up, I oh now it does it. That's really weird. I guess we don't have to necessarily cut Soul Scar Mage yet. It also could be decent because we have a bunch of burn. Devil's play. Oh, I like Captivating Crew. It's a four three for four, which is fine stats. Plus, it just gets to steal creatures. Oh, Grimbo the Sarcophagus. Fantastic. 
Oh, Rekindling Phoenix? Oh, Pillar of Flame is great, but I ain't, I ain't taking that over a Phoenix. <laughs> well, Ratchet Bomb it is. Yeah, all right, none of these are great. Just take Crag Crown Pathway, what does it matter? I don't know if I love Dire Fleet Daredevil here. It's kind of like a depends on what they have kind of spell. Yep, Pyromancer came back. That is great. Weaponize the monster seems pretty sweet with young Pyromancer. So this is 30 cards plus 5 lands. Eh, Grim Initiate. So we need like two cuts here. Probably Fanatical Firebrand. It's got to be worse than Grim Lava Mancer, right? Oh, Insult Injury is great. And Captivating Crew is great too. Oh, weapon Weaponize with Acting. Oh, it's, the problem is we only have one sack outlet, I'm pretty sure. And we already have Captivating Crew to steal their guys. This is 45 cards. Oh, because we have, like, literally five lands. 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, 15, 16. There's one more, right? Or do I have to make a cut? Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six. So you need one cut. <laughs> Let's get some good. Uh... Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Am I missing one of the? No, right. So I need to make a cut. <clears throat> hmm. What are you doing? All your cards are pretty sweet. Just play 16. That feels bad. Really? You don't like the hound? I mean, it's a 3-1. Like, we have very few two drops. I mean, I like having three of them. I I, I agree about Soul Scar. I, I, can, I can see cutting Soul Scar. It might be the worst of the three. Do you think Weaponize? I mean, like, it's just, late game, you're just able to shock things. You can also sack Rekindling Phoenix every turn to get the Elemental and then bring it back. Like, just for free. You can sack the Tybalt Tokens... You can steal their guy with Captivating Crew and sacrifice it. You can sacrifice Pyromancer tokens. I think it has a lot of uses. All right. Let's see if this mono red deck can do anything. I will play first. Mm, yeah, okay. Sure. Oh boy. Here we go. Wow. In order to not uh, miss land drops, we're just going to play these. 
out like as such. Weaponize the chickens is right. Wonderful Christmas time. This guy got first strike. I think we have a grooming issue in our sideboard. Oh, okay. Well. In before lava coil. Bob Ross lands are interesting because they're... Okay. The Bob Ross lands are interesting because... Okay, so they're just going to two-for-one themselves to kill that. No, I mean, it makes total sense. They already have board position. And... I don't know this is time. Well, we can play that by taking three... light up the stage. I mean, being able to play Castle Lambreth and Torbrand next turn is pretty decent. Boy, they're really doing well for themselves here. I think they're going to sack this guy. Hit us for four. And the turn. Oh, Bob Rustlings are interesting because they're the art is fantastic. Um, the art is fantastic, but they're not traditional colors. Like usually swamps are more black, mountains are more red, etc. Um, but here the swamps are like yellow, the mountains are very blue. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. You will feel the lick of my flames. Come to me. I mean, this means we get to keep Bone Crusher or we get to keep Weapon Eyes up if they try to kill our dragon. There are two different arts for each land. Uh, yes, I, yeah, they, they were, that's, that was what was available in, uh, Yeah, that's fine. Can we just kill them here? I think we can actually. damage to a creature. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I actually like weaponize there. We rolled a sack our Torbrand to kill one of their guys. I mean, they used feed the swarm on it. And we got to keep our dragon, like. Yeah, I think this is fine like this. Without an, without like a number of sack outlets, I don't really feel super comfortable with playing claim. I mean, it, just stealing their guy and then giving it back doesn't really seem super appealing. Oh, uh, this hand seems really good. <clears throat> uh, that seems a little better now. Two phoenixes? Great. Okay, well... Um, sure. I'm going to play this because I'd rather make sure we can go Phoenix into Phoenix. Wonderful Christmas time. And now I'm probably just going to kill that, I guess. <laughs> Phoenix? Phoenixes? Phoenixes? Oh, a blood artist. That four cards in hand. Hmm. I mean, if they want a two for, for two for one themselves again for rekindling, rekindling Phoenix, I'm pretty much okay with that. I'm also okay with going Phoenix next turn into like light up the stage. You got it. I do not think for one black they're going to be able to get rid of this. I guess they have a red too. <clears throat> yep. That 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 thing has to die, unfortunately. Also, we have two spells in our hand that exile things and they have Croxa, so that's kind of cool. Okay, so now we exile that. It's really bad. Six. Yeah, this should be game. <laughs> that should be the end. I mean, they've missed a million land drops. I, I can definitely relate to that. Um, sure. I mean, even if they kill Phoenix, like, we still get to pump this with Castle Embreath and it's five. 
or if they kill this, we can pump Phoenix twice, so they're both lethal. Like, they would go to six from one death, and then plus two, plus two. These Phoenixes were doing work. <laughs> Don't talk about people's Phoenixes, okay? It's not appropriate for a family stream. <clears throat> Wonderful Christmas time. Oh yeah, they couldn't have gained life, actually. It doesn't matter, but you're right. You're right. This hand is amazing. Is this two red base decks in a row? Like, what the f fridge you got it <clears throat> wonderful Christmas time oh he gone so they have three cards and we have six now pretty good um wait does this exile oh yeah that's right because i suggested it as a uh i suggested it as a, a way to deal with um euro when they cast Euro, you hazard Spike Field, hazard it, and when it goes to the graveyard, it gets exiled instead. Alright, this guy's doing some work. Next turn, we have Pump and Lava Mancer. Seems fine. Okay. Oh, it's your boy. Uh, Love Mancer. Play Valakut so we can actually play Torbrand next turn. Yeah, now we're just going to attack. There's no reason not to here. And having Torbrand as our last card is pretty decent. Living in a monastery full of firebrands? It's actually fine. It's awesome. More like bomb alone. What does that mean? Oh, you actually just reused the spike field hazard? Think on my feet. So she's at two? Sure. Sure, just gonna eat that guy. Wonderful Christmas. If they if they play their own Torbrand and then get shocked back to kill our Torbrand, that'd be pretty tragic. Oh, bomb like Bomag bomb like Bomag Courier. I understand that. I understood that reference. Okay, so you're just gonna Kill Chandra? Sure, that's fine. Man, they really got a lot of answers here, man. Yep. I mean, pumping this guy next turn is real business, so if they don't have an answer, they always have an answer. Can this guy block? Of course he can. Oh, that's a that's a beautiful chicken. That 
is fine. All of these are fine. Man, Embercleave and they have to have this guy in hand? Sure. Interesting. So we take three pasta blockers. I take, f yeah, I'll take five here. Interesting. Wonderful Christmas time. Mono red deck. Wonderful Christmas time. Mm -hmm. Man, Fanatical Firebrand seems OP in this matchup. So does Direfully Daredevil, actually. Got him is right. You should sing that Elvis Christmas song. I'll have a red Christmas. <laughs> Is that a song? Um, let's get rid of Rebuke because we're bringing in Dire Fleet, which I think is also a removal spell. It's weird to be on the side of a great top deck. Yeah, I agree. Um, I actually don't hate this hand. We can actually play Pyromancer on two. Okay, now I'm actually tempted to just go Lava Mancer on one. Pyromancer on two. Ideally light up the stage. Really? Very aggressive. I mean, Pyromancer's not gonna live, I know that. Oh, Pyromancer lives, I see. I understand. Huh. Well, hmm. okay, I'm just going to pass here. No attacks. That is fascinating. Yeah, I'll block this guy. <laughs> sure. Man, an axe is so good in this in this uh in this matchup, I guess you'd say. So is Phoenix, though. So, I mean, unless they have Lava Coil, you know? Like, what are you gonna do? Um, so they have to have two removal spells to deal with this? You know what? Sure. Ember Cleave me, yeah. <sighs> Seems good. I guess we get our chicken back now. Oh, I 
like a Dire Fleet Daredevil. One, two, and then we can smash for one. That's not very good at all. Oh boy. Huh. So they only have Shire Skull Smashing in there, huh? And they're one man away from Kenra, huh? Okie dokie. Smash, light, prey? What, what does that mean? Smash. Come on, Lava Coil. Oh, our own Shatter Skull Smashing for one. That's not going to do it, as you can imagine. It does give us four mana. What does that do? Absolutely nothing. Yep, all right. <laughs> That'll do, I guess. Boy, I wish I had an answer for an artifact. That would be sublime. I wonder if Active Treason is good. If they put their stupid thing on a guy, like just stealing it and getting in there for a million. It doesn't seem terrible. Let's take out the crew and bring an act. I don't think we're actually like... <laughs> this isn't a game where we're like going to be stealing their guys with crew. One land, huh? I'm gonna keep it because light up the stage. That's pretty much my strategy here. Can not block? This guy can block, right? Wow, they're just really blocking all my things. <sighs> Okie dokie. And the bright side, they only actually have one more land than us, and we have Lava Coil and Scorching Dragon Fire for an axe, so... Oh good, they deal seven to us. Fucking amazing. Well, let's get rid of that thing, I guess. Here comes Embercleave, attack us for eight. Jesus. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Yep, this was just a fucking hot mess. Um, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, you just fucking drew perfect, so. Thought we were going to 3-0 with this deck. It was looking great after game one. And then uh, they draw Embercleave and Torbrand every single game, and we draw two lands. So, what can you do? Can we do a Supreme just for the lulls? You know what? If you're here tomorrow, we'll do one tomorrow. Uh, yeah, keep. Seems good. Is this seriously three red decks we've played against? That's insane. Yeah, the 
magic hive mind is strong. Oh wow, this is amazing. Oh boy, don't care about this guy. These two are problematic. I think we just want to get rid of this guy. instant what really well, you didn't actually kill my grim lava mancer oh i guess you tapped out for it so Two cards in hand, both of which are also lands. The question is, do we play towards Valakut Awakening or do we play towards Akini Boy? Hmm. So they have four lands. This guy's not super relevant. They can attack with this guy. I think that's totally fine. Single blocking, interesting. Sure. I mean, this is also four damage here, so if they try to kill anything, we just weaponize the monsters then. Oh yeah, that's not going to do it. I keep hovering over my grim. Nah, brah. I mean, they're dead on board. Like, we just weaponize the monsters here. We have two monsters to weaponize. Archfiend, Dragon Master. There's a bunch of creatures that are like really easy to, to kill. That's true, they could have cast Darkness. Uh, Fanatical Firebrand is fine for Captivating Crew. I do like the Sarkon, it's just a nice one-of for the, for the top end. Oh, 
or a W for Holy Day, or red for Active Volcano. Wow, these are terrible. These are just terrible cards. Um, yeah, I like this. Okay, that's gonna be problematic. What is that rope? Is that spectacle happening? So that we know it's triggered? Yuptical, <laughs> got it. Got it. a good card. What are you killing? Seems good. Well, this wasn't very fun. Spectacle me. Okay. Uh, let's play Pyromancer. Cut Awakening. And next turn we can play Perseros's inter per Perseros, Perforos Intervention. I guess we can just play against this guy. Um, <laughs> Lava Coil actually seems almost better. So we can play Smashing Face Up. They have two cards in hand. How do you get this guy back? Three, you return it from your graveyard anytime you can cast a sorcery if you have one or fewer cards in hand. And I feel like we're definitely going to want to do that eventually. But this is basically free. One, two. So one, so it's two, three, four, five. They go to nine. Oh, now they're going to draw two. They did not do anything. Oh, one, two. Yeah, might as well deal five. Wonderful cruise. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. <laughs> yep, you're going down. This guy's a four five though. Oh man, they're just playing that foul wire knight. Wild. Hmm. That's fascinating. Actually, do I care about the Chandra here? Not really. I mean, this is four, five, six, seven with Castle Embereth. 
And if this guy dies, they can just. This will be easy. Or do they have a, a card? There's a last card deal one damage. No. Interesting. Spread them out. Their last card did not kill a creature, so I don't know if this one will. Crypt Breaker. Is gonna hurt. Crypt Breaker is fine. I assume they're gonna equip. Equip the Crypt. Okay, that's pretty good. So they're essentially at seven. Nah, eight. That's interesting. So if we pump everybody with Castle and Breath, one, two, three, four, and then also pump this guy, he's going to be a four, and then this guy gets bigger. So if they block here, they take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that's lethal. Because they also get to... Yeah, that's that's good. That's good. Yeah, I think that's game. Oh my god. This is intense. Because even if they block here, they still take nine. I'm still fine. Yep, still nine. Wow. Mono red, my dudes. Only lost to the other red aggro deck of the three we faced. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to check me out on twitch.tv slash frankforemanagetraders.com. Cool stuff, Inc. Every Wednesday for brand new articles. And uh, head on over to twitch.tv. Slam those subscribe buttons. Support the content that you watch ever so frequently. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.